trust your friends. Abracadabra stick! Ta-da! Huh? It's amazing, right? It was in the station when it got hit by lightning, and now it's magnetized. That's really marvelous. <sighs> you woke us up at dawn just to show us a magic trick? Not magic. It turned into a magnet. Okay, but how? Mm, well, it's a little bit hard to explain. Are you sure that you know? Of course I know. I just can't explain it right now. Huh? Rescue team, this is Jen. Jen! Uh, somebody robbed my store! Robbed your store? What? what? A, A robbery? Somebody has stolen my tires. What? Just look at the mess he made around my shop. It's absolutely outrageous. Calm down, Mr. Wheeler. Could you tell me exactly what happened when you came in this morning? Well, let's see. I arrived at the store just before dawn. I noticed someone moving in the darkness. I was a bit scared, but I approached anyway. Then the scoundrel ran away. Were you able to get a look at the culprit's face? That I'm not too sure of. And have you noticed anything or anybody strange in the past few days? Well, wait a minute. Cleany! Cleany? Hmm. I was doing my daily inventory, as usual. 19, 20, 21, 20... When suddenly, I got the feeling that I was being watched. I turned around, and there was Cleany. Huh? Hmm, what is he doing out there? Uh, I'd better come back later. That's all? What do you mean? Don't you think that's strange? Not at all. Huh? Maybe he wanted to buy a tire. If he wanted to buy a tire, he should have said something instead of staring at me like that. I tell you, it was very strange. Queenie has huh? a hard time talking to people sometimes because mm -hmm. he's shy. That could be an act. What if he's pretending to be shy when in reality he's a master criminal? I don't think so, but I better speak with Queenie anyway. Mr. Wheeler thinks I'm a suspect? I'm innocent! I just thought his store was dirty and wanted to clean it. But I was too embarrassed to say something about it, so when he saw me, I just drove away. You don't really think that I stole anything, do you? I don't, Cleany. All I needed was for you to tell me what happened yesterday. something. Yesterday, when I drove away from Mr. Wheeler's store, somebody else was there. Who was it? It was Posty! <laughs> Posty, why are you so surprised? It's nothing, just never mind. Oh. And then he just drove away. So, don't you think that's weird? Hmm, interesting. I guess I better go ask Posty some questions. What? Just calm down. Well, if you must know, I was delivering a surprise gift to the shop for Mrs. Green. You said a surprise gift? <laughs> Posty. Uh, sorry. Yes, a surprise gift. Don't tell anybody about it because it's a surprise. You see, I was only doing my job. Hmm. I understand. Know what? I can't believe that Cleany would think that I stole a tire. Oh, oh. my. See there? But even so, couldn't he have stolen the tires after he finished delivering the surprise? No way! Cleany, why are you trying to give me the blame? Is it because you stole the tire? No, it wasn't me. I'm innocent. Well, it seems to me that Cleany is the criminal. No, I'm not. I swear it. <sighs> huh? Stop it, everybody. Huh? It looks to me like the criminal isn't Cleany or Posty. Huh? What? Take a look at this. See how these tire tracks are stained with oil? Whoever the culprit is, he must work with oil. Work, work with, with oil? oil? Well then, yes, it must be Mr. Musty. 
What makes you say that? A few days ago, Mr. Musty was in my store shopping for a mini tire. Also, he's an old car, so he runs on oil. <laughs> but the marks here clearly weren't made by the kind of tires that Mr. Musty has. It's Cap! Cap? I heard Cap change tires a few days ago. <laughs> Posty, Cap isn't an oil car. Uh, but what about Spooky? My goodness, you all are accusing your friends without any evidence. But it seems like when you think about it, they're, they're all, all suspicious! suspicious. Hmm. <sighs> you just need to let me investigate. Well, what does it say, Jin? Hmm, these tire tracks just aren't enough to go on. There are over a hundred cars in Broomstown that use this kind of tire, you know. Hmm, this is getting complicated. Oh, I just can't believe it. A thief in Broomstown. Listen, there's something worse going on than the robbery itself. What is it? Everybody is so suspicious of one another. Mr. Wheeler suspects everybody who's been to his store. Posty and Cleany suspect each other. <laughs> and people are starting to say that Mr. Wheeler is suspicious. This old man says I stole his tires. I say he made it up to commit insurance fraud. No way! It's like the people of Broomstown don't trust each other anymore. Well, couldn't Mr. Wheeler have gotten his tire count wrong? Or maybe he sold the tires and forgot. No, Roy. I double-checked his inventory myself. Uh, well, now what? Then who could be the crook? Well, couldn't the answer be in the pictures I took? I took a lot of them. You certainly did. <laughs> Helly, did you only take pictures and not investigate? What? I was gathering all the important evidence. Right, Polly? Yes, yes. Sort of. Huh? What's that? Thanks, Helly. What? I don't know. This means that it was spooky. Magic wand, where are you? Magic wand? Where's my magic wand? <laughs> Catch the thief! Catch the thief! Huh? 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 <gasps> spooky? Huh? Oh my gosh, spooky? You're stealing my tires? Uh, Let's get Spooky! Uh, no, I didn't do anything. Really, I'm not a thief. Everybody calm down. Huh? Now tell me what's going on here. I'll tell you. We're catching the thief. I was tired of being called a robber. Me too. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have found this clue earlier. Ah, uh, it's my magic wand. Spooky, please tell me what's been going on. Stay back, Polly. Huh? Oh, before you get stuck to me, too. What? What are you talking about? I don't understand it. All I did was get struck by lightning. Then suddenly I was like this. Lightning? When it got hit by lightning, and now it's magnetized. Ah, now I understand what's going on. Mr. Wheeler, the thief isn't spooky. It's lightning. What? What? Do you remember the thunderstorm we had last night? Spooky was struck by lightning last night and became a magnet. The tires stuck to him while he was passing the store. He didn't know he'd been magnetized. Spooky tried to get the tires off himself when Mr. Wheeler got to the store and spotted him. Stop! Thief! Mr. Wheeler's shouts startled poor confused Spooky and he drove away. And that's the solution to the mystery. Isn't it, Spooky? Is that the truth? Yes. I wanted to return the tires, but everyone in town was on a crazy robber hunt. Oh, poor Spooky. Uh, mm. By being so suspicious of everybody, I hurt so many of my friends. Me too. Sorry. 
So we've learned that suspecting friends without evidence is not good. Well, the misunderstanding is all cleared up. Give me back my tires. I'd love to, but they're stuck to me and they aren't coming off. No. Oh, he's right. What are we going to do, Polly? Don't worry, everyone. We can solve the problem at the rescue center. Is this really going to work, Jin? Of course. When this machine absorbs the electricity from the lightning, your problem will be solved. Don't worry, Spooky. Trust me. Here we go! Huh? Whew. They were getting so heavy. Wow! Hey, Jin, it's just like you said. Told ya! <laughs> Good for you, Spooky. Welcome back from Magnet World. Welcome back! Thanks a lot. The next time there's a thunderstorm, this car is staying inside. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's no thief in Broomstown. I knew it all along. <laughs>